Hi everybody, it's Tracy and today I have a project to share and today's project is a mini album. So first of all, I'll show you what paper I used. And I used the watercolor bouquet paper by Kane Company. Pretty papers. Okay. Love that collection, and I've been holding on to it for months. I made a few cards, but not really a bigger project, and um, finally I got around to it. Anyway, this is a um, this is a paper bag mini album, and the reason I did this paper bag album is because Carol Ann at Logan's Crafty Mama just showed a paper bag album that she did and when I saw it I said oh my goodness I haven't made a paper bag album in a while maybe that should be my next project and so I went ahead and did it now this album is not that big but um I mean it's wide but it doesn't have a ton of pages but anyway let me start explaining what I did hopefully you can see let me see Okay, so the name of the album is These Are the Days, and that is just a uh, uh, dimensional sticker from the collection, and let's see, I binded it with this binding I made using a Martha Stewart punch, and to reinforce the, bind the binding, I used uh, um, recycled... Uh, Tyvek mail thing that I just cut up on the inside. You can't see it though. But if you look at Kathy at uh, Paper Phenomenon, she's the one who I got the idea from. And she shows how to reinforce bindings with that. Okay, so I put some white lace here on top of the binding and some Recollections Bling. And on the spine, I have some lace. I don't know where you can get this lace out at Joann's yeah I got it at a garage sale a long time ago but I've seen it at Joann's and on the front I have some Prima flowers here on the bottom that I layered with one of the big flowers from the collection then I have recollections flowers in blue and then the bling is by recollections and then the paper has all of this sparkle on it all by itself okay so you open up and this is the front page. I did nothing to this paper because I love it. It's so pretty. So eventually I might put a picture on it. Or I could leave it blank. But for now I left it blank. And then here is the first little flap of pockets. And I have tags. Now these tags came with the collection already. I just had to put two of them together. Oh because they're really thin. Put an eyelet on it to attach it. And that was that. And then I used a Martha Stewart punch there. And then the same here. Made a tag. Put together those two tags rather. And then here's a page. And these all, all of the pages are photo matted because even though this came out kind of wide, I didn't want to make it too wide. So I used my uh, Nestabilities, Spellbinders Nestabilities for the matting. And then the um, dimensional stickers from the collection and some Recollections Bling. And then in this pocket, I matted it, used the... Uh, this trim ed edging, it's not trim, but paper strips, I think, from the collection. Same on the bottom. And I don't have anything to show you, but I left this open down here. Wait, I can use this. See? Left that open so that I can stick things in there. And then I used the Martha Stewart punch on the edges. 
And then on this, I have another. Okay. And my poor Martha Stewart punch, this one, I broke it. <laughs> this is the first time I ever broke one of my punches. But I broke it with this project. I tried to make it go through something too thick. Oh well. I'm just grateful it was one of the old, less expensive punches. But whatever. So the next page, I used another Spellbinders to make the mat. And this is Recollections Bling, the butterfly, and the trim. Next page, I used a little clip because this pulls out. Ta da! I made pockets with the tags that came with the collection. And so in all of those pockets go the tags that I can journal on. And on the other side are photo mats. And then I clip it up to hold it together. Okay. And the next page more matting with spellbinders, some lace trim, prima flower and leaf, and more of that pretty paper. Okay. And more room for more pictures or journaling. Page. Have some recollections trim and flowers here. More um, nestabilities for matting. We put pictures. And then here, more mats. This says in the moment. Um, it's one of the dimensional stickers from the collection. And then I made a pocket on this little flap. It was one of those short flaps, but I added paper to make another pocket. And then I have the mats on the tags. And the same thing for this page. And edging made with a punch and then I have nestability matting and recollections bling and then this is the back page and that's the back cover and that's my album like I said not not a whole lot to it this was a pretty quick project but um I really like it I love this paper and I just loved putting this together, so I'm really happy with it. And that's that. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned the album, the cover is chipboard. Covers are chipboard. Both of them. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.